Charles Newman. Number five, Molly Fury. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are in beautiful, sunny Beersford, South Dakota today. And we're actually not going to blow away today. There's not a whole lot of wind right now. So, nice day for some softball. We are going to play the Beersford Wash Dogs, who are 3-2 and two on the season with wins over Flandreau, Bonholm, and Wagner. And losses to Madison and Dakota Valley. Uh, their head coach is Matt Storo, assistant coach Tony Larvick, and Michelle Merrigan. It is funny because if you guys remember, Monday we were supposed to play at Alcester, got rained out. They played here Monday. They played their game. I don't know. Must must not have hit here. But anyway, looking at their schedule, I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, so going through their starting lineups for both teams right now. Then we'll assume we'll probably have the national anthem after that. So we will pause for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not staying for the national anthem. National Anthem. So we are on the West Diamond. If you're familiar with the complex up here in Beersford, we're on the West Diamond today. Uh, their normal main diamond is under a little bit of construction. They're, Caroline said they are working on the dugouts a little bit. They are roped off. Uh, last summer during youth softball, we were up here and they said they were going to make that their main high school diamond. They're going to put a crow's nest and grandstand and whatnot and they also have to the east of us they got a new complex adding on to this i can't remember if it's two or three or four fields or what but looks like it's going to be an awesome complex um be nice to take note of that people in elk point um throw that out there for you guys i know coaching yeah i'll just throw that right out there because coaching you softball no everybody knows there's a very big shortage of diamond space in the summer. Anyway, we'll move on to the game on tap for today. Looks like Beersford's going to start, let's see, 28, I believe, is the starting pitcher. Riley Larvick, seventh grader. Wow. Okay. So Riley Larvick, seventh grader, is going to be the starting pitcher for the Watchdogs today. And leading off for the Huskies is going to be number six, Hannah Nearman. First pitch a little low, ball one. One on to Nearman. Beersford's got a nice mixture of athletes from each grade, seven through 12, on their varsity roster. There's a swing and a miss, strike one, one, one the count.
Nice line drive, base hit. Oh, through the through the gap, right center field. Nearman digging for two. They get the ball in. Stand up double for Nearman to lead off the game. Nice line drive. Up next, number five, Molligary. No wonder Caroline didn't want a headset today. She's over there singing and eating seeds. <laughs> yeah, she got here just to, yeah, she wasn't rushed like we usually are, or she is usually to get ready. Oh, laid down a butt to, by Gary. Gets it over to first, moves up near him to third. Nice job to move the run over to third. So one down, runner at third, and it's going to bring up number 15, Sarah Schmidt. First pitch is high for a ball. Shouldn't be. That was the first pitch. <laughs> Scoreboard's wrong up there, I guess. I don't know. I was in the dirt. Almost got her. Nice, nice quick feet there by Schmidt. So 2-0 to the count to Sarah. It's a little ball two, two to one. I think it's only two, isn't it? Two one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're on top of it today, Carol. Nice job. And she's going to go all the way to second. Nice job. Nice job by Schmitz to pay attention there. Something's been discussed last year and uh, summer softball, some some of the little bit younger age groups. The, as long as you keep going and don't slow it or, and don't stop, you can go all the way to second base, and that's what she did there. And they didn't even notice until she was three fourths of the way there. So, so Schmitz goes all the way to second on the walk, and Nearman at third with one down, and Paige Jacobs at the plate. Yep, first strike on the foul tip or foul ball. And we're going to have another foul ball out of play. 0-2 the count now. <laughs> Man, this weather's nice compared to what we've had, isn't it? It's awesome. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get them hit by the face by a laptop today. <laughs> ball low. <laughs> I don't think you will unless we get a big gust. Yeah, <laughs> so that one is low. Yep, one and two on that to Jacobs. That was a little low too, two and two. <laughs> There's a nice hit. That's in the gap, left center field. It's going to get all the way to the wall. Nice hit by Jacobs. That's going to score two. And Jacobs is in with the stand-up double. Nice job. Two RBI double for Jacobs. Huskies up 2-0. One out still. It's going to bring up number four, McKinley Hammett. And what were you saying about the booth? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh, funny. First pitch a little low, maybe. Ball one, one and oh. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right on the field for football. That'd be that'd be interesting. That'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so there's a strike there. One and one the count. Swing and a miss there, strike two, one and two, to Hammett. Oh, swing and a miss, strike three. That'll be strikeout for Hammett. That'll be two down. Now it's going to bring up 
number 14, Samantha Marks. First pitch in the dirt, nice stop by the catcher. So we got Jacobs out at second still with two outs. Marks at the plate. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one the count. Inside looks like. One and one the count. All right, one and one. Two and one. Oh boy, I'm falling behind already. <laughs> that one's low. It's gonna be three and one. Yep, three one. The up says. So three and one, two down. Ball four to Mark, she'll get a walk out of that. He'll bring it up number three, Reagan Rasmussen. <laughs> First pitch strike, 0 1 to Rasmussen. One's high, one and one the count. Two outs, first and second. That one's low in the dirt, right in front of the catcher. She doesn't know where it's at. She blocked it, just sat right there in front of her. So Marunner will move up to second and third with two outs. Two and one the count to Rasmussen. See her crush another one, huh? It's like yesterday. That was a heck of a hit over the fence. One of the two home runs. Her and Sarah Schmitz. That one was low. Three and one. Ball four outside. She's going to take a walk. It's going to bring up number 23, Angel Gessinger. So base is loaded, two down, getting her up to bat. First pitch strike, 0 and 1. It's done a good job getting first pitch strikes. A lot of them, most of these batters so far. Another strike, 0 oh, 2 the count to get here. And swing, strike three, that'll end the inning. Huskies leave the bases loaded, get two, so after half inning, it's 2 0 Huskies. You're watching Husky softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. Brought 25 bucks in. <laughs> we went to the bank. <laughs> All right, and we are back. So after a half inning, Huskies up 2 0. Looks like Huskies are going to be starting number 18, Lauren McDermott, in the circle today. And 
Looks like Nerman's going to be behind the plate. Gatzinger at first. Paige Jacobs at second. McKinley Hammond at short. Molly Gary at third. Uh, left field is Samantha Marks. Center field is going to be Sarah Schmitz. And right field is Natalie Haley. All I forgot to say, Huskies are coached by head coach Jesse Stouffer and assisted by Josh Nerman. Huskies come in with a 2-3 and three record. Um, with wins over Lennox, Sioux Falls Christian, and losses to Dakota Valley, T, and Gabe Allen yesterday. So leading off for Beersford is number 20, Reese Olson. Nice pitch by McDermott there, strike one. 0-1-1 oh, one, one. to Olson. Ball, one and one. Ball high. Ooh, just a little, uh, little up maybe. Ball two, two and one. Ball high, three and one. Nice pitch, three and two, full count to Olsen. Oh, just a little low, ball four. Olsen will take her base. It's going to bring up number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. First pitch a little low, ball one. Not only do I not have a quote on that, I'm actually. Oh, geez. I'm always holding <laughs> yeah, even Jeff. <laughs> not to that extreme. <laughs> Foul ball, one and one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Grounder to first, gets in her, snaps it, and gets her steps on the base for the out. Runner moves up to second. So one out, advance the runner to second. It's going to bring up number 24, Ivy Kaiser. So one down, runner at second. First pitch, ball in the dirt. Nice scoop there by Nearman. Oh, she got that one hit, and a little miscommunication there in the outfield. Drops between the two of them out right in front of the fence. That was a nice hit. So she gets into second, stand up, and oh, she didn't score. She got held up at third there. Yep, no, this one out and runner in second and third. Second and third. Yeah, she had to wait and see if they caught She was thinking, thought they were going to catch it, I think, so that's why she only ended up getting the third. So second, third, one out, and who did they say is up? I missed it. 20-something here. 21, Haley Livingston. I think that's who it is. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think he said she's running for the catcher. Number 15 is Kate Deegan. She's running for the catcher, I believe is what the umpire said. Ball in the dirt. It's going to get past her. Coming home, and she's safe. So 2-1. Huskies on top yet. Other runner moves up from second to third. And we got one ball, so one and all. Oh. Ooh, 
First pitch a little high. Ball ball or second pitch. Ball two. Oh. Wow. That looked like a good pitch, didn't it? She didn't I don't even think she moved her glove. Huh. <laughs> Three and all. And that one's a low ball for her. So she'll walk. It's going to bring up number 16, Keeley Merrigan. So runners at the corners, one down. Keeley Merrigan at the plate for the watchdog. Second, first one's in the dirt. Almost got the girl off third there, but she gets back. Runner goes from first to second, so second, third, one out. So one and oh the count. Foul ball down the first baseline there. One and one the count. And no grounder right back to the pitcher. And throws a little high at first, goes off her glove. They scored two on that. So they scored both runs on that. So three, two beers for right now. Three and two, three to two. Runner on first with one out. And brings up number 14, Harley Coth. First pitch strike. One oh one one. Nice pitch there, oh and two to go. And gets her back to first. She slides in safe. That one gets past the catcher. She's going to move up to second. So one and two the count. One and two to go. Runner on second. Oof. Nice pitch. Ball two, two and two. Swing and a miss, strike three for McDermott. Strikes out Coth for the second out. Number 22, Lily Seibert comes to bat with two outs, runner at second. Strike on the first pitch, 0-1 to Seibert. Nice pitch, 0 and 2. 0 and 2, two outs, runner at second. Oh, slipped out of her hand. Nice stop by Nerman. Rolled to the plate there. So, 1 and 1, right? 1 and 1. 1 and 2. Ball a little high, two and two. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing. <laughs> Grounder to first, gets her, grabs it, steps on the base for the out, out number three. So after one full inning, it's three to two. Beersford on top. Huskies will be coming to bat. You're watching Husky softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community 
with a low stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605 356 2271. Nope, no hesitation. Yep, she's coming down here anyway. She's coming up. So, all right. So we're back, going to the top of the second inning, and it's going to bring up Natalie Haley, number one. First pitch, swinging strike to Haley, 0-1. That one low, bounced in front of the plate. Nice step by the catcher, 1-1. One and one. Swing strike, one and two. Swing strike, strike three. So one down. It's going to bring up number six, Hannah Nerman. Strike one on the first pitch, 0 and 1 to Nearman. That one's low in the dirt, ball one, 1 and 1. Ball high, yeah. Is it three and one? Two and one. All right. Hits it off the end of the bat to second base. She grounds, fields it, throws it to first for the out. It'll be two outs for the Huskies. It's going to bring up number five, Molly Gary. Molly grounds it to second. She scoops it up, tosses it over to first for the out again. Three up, three down there for the Huskies there. So after one and a half, it's beers for three. Elk Point Jefferson, two. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years, we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Every day, life throws us challenges our way. It might be sitting at a desk too long or picking up the kids or simply everyday wear and tear. Over time, these moments can misalign our bodies. The doctors at Heartland Chiropractic Associates understand this delicate balance. Their team of experienced chiropractors doesn't just address symptoms, but seeks and finds the root cause. Call and book an appointment today and discover why Heartland Chiropractic Associates has been voted two times the best chiropractic clinic in Zooland. All right, we're back. It's gonna bring up number 25, Kaylee Iverson to the plate for the Watchdogs. Dogs. 
First pitch strike there for McDermott on one. Second one in the dirt, one and one. Ball two, two and one to Iverson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little bit low, ball three, three and one. Three and one count to Iverson to lead off the bottom of the second. Nice pitch in there. She fouls it back. It's going to be full count. Yeah, full count to Iverson. <laughs> oh, nice pitch. Caught her looking there for strike three. One down. It's going to bring up number one, Taven Valder. No, we have stayed home. Well, four o'clock start makes it a little tough, so. I could have picked her up, but it would have kept been cutting her real close, so. I don't think she'll probably like it, but. <laughs> I guess we'll deal with that when we get home. <laughs> yep. Oh, almost got Coach Stouffer there. Nice dance move there. Little, what do you want to call that? She One foot, did a little spin around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for the week, it's Friday. <laughs> that sounds like a true teacher right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, funny. <laughs> so what's the count now I got? One and one, all right. Two and one, okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ball high, three and one to Valder. <clears throat> nice pitch, three and two, full count. Um, uh, they messed up there. I thought they thought that was an out or a walk or something because <laughs> foul ball straight back again. Stays at full. Oh, I'd... <laughs> oh, line drive right out to right field. She's going to Try, oh, tries to get the play at first. Throws a little low. She's going to get to second. Yep, gets, slides in there safe at second base. So it gets the single to right field and gets a extra base on the throw here. So it will be one out, runner at second. Number 20 up to bat, Reese Olsen. And I did get a text message confirming she's not very happy. She's not here today. <laughs> Uh, well, like we said, I'll deal with it when we get home, I guess. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Line drive to left field. It's going to drop in there. Marks gets it in. Runner gets to second base on the throw in. It's going to be four to two. Number 13, Kennedy Merrigan up to bat for the Watchdogs. So four to two, runner on second base. Ball high. Is that 
one one. Okay. Ooh, swing strike. Nice pitch. One and two. What? It's two and one? Oh. Two and one. Ooh, inside. Three and one. Three and one. Two, Merrigan. Ball four. She's going to get a walk. So. Number 24, Ivy Kaiser coming to the plate with one out. Runners on first and second. Pop up to short center field. Schmidt's bear almost comes up with it. Oh, almost got the force at second. This is a tough one. Schmidt's had a long run there to get there. Almost gets the force out at second. So it's going to make it a, a, let's see, we got bases loaded, one out. And number 21, Haley Livingston up to bat. First pitch, strike by McDermott, 0-1. Second one in the dirt. Nice block there by Nearman. One and one the count. Swing and a miss there. One and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Nice job by McDermott. Get second out. Number 16, Keeley Merrigan comes to the plate with the bases loaded and two outs. Grounder to short. Hammock gets it. Hammett gets it, throws it over to Ainsley for the third out, and it's going to be 4-2, correct? 4-2. to two. Yeah, yeah, they did because it was 3-2, to two, so it's 4-2 to two then. <laughs> 4 4-2. Four we We're going with there. We'll, we'll go with there since there's is official, supposedly. So, <laughs> All right, we'll be back. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you, protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance. Your local independent auto owners insurance agency. Yep, top of third. And number 15, Sarah Schmitz, is going to come to the plate. Huskies down four to two. First pitch, Schmitz swings, hits a grounder short, and it's overthrow, and Schmitz would have beat it out anyway. She's going to go to second. She's going to go all the way to third. She's going to try it. And throws off target. So Schmitz makes it all the way to third base. I truly believe she would have beaten that throw out anyway, it looked like. But she, anyway, she threw it over her head. So she got all the way to third base on that nice hustle by Schmitz. And that's going to bring up number two, Paige Jacobs, correct? Yep. Yep. All right. Oh, there we go, fly ball, and it's, oh, she catches it right into the fence there. And Schmitz will tag up, gets the 
Sack fly there by Jacobs on the foul ball out. Pop fly. So, yep, yep. So Huskies down 4-3 right now. Nice catch by the left fielder. Catching it, yeah, making a run for it and catching it about a step in front of the fence. It's not fun. I've crashed into the fence before. And that was in Beersford, too. Different diamond. <laughs> Tries to lay down a bunt. McKinley Hammett does on this first pitch. Bunts it foul. Swing and a miss, strike two, 0 and 2 now to two Hammett. Ball high, 1 and 2 the count. Swing and a miss, strike three. Hammett goes down, swinging for out number two. It's going to bring up number 14, Samantha Marks. With bases empty, two down. First pitch in the dirt, ball one, one and oh. A little higher outside, maybe. Ball two, two and oh, two marks. Swing and a miss. Two and one, the count to Marks. Hits it off the ground. Oh, under the second baseman's glove. Gets to right field. So Mar Marks is going to reach on the hit. Two outs, runner on first, and Reagan Rasmussen will come, Rasmussen will come to the plate for the Huskies. Swing and a miss, strike one on the first pitch. Pitch is in the dirt. Marks is going to take it second, and the throw is not a time, so Marks will reach second on the steal. It's going to be two. Is it two and one the count? One and one. Okay, one and one. So one and one with Marks at second base. Swing and a, whiff, swing and a miss by Rasmussen. One and two. Grounder to third. Rasmussen hustling down the line. Throw is there in time for out number three. So after two and a half, it's Beersford four, Huskies three. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. Like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Back, going to the bottom of three, and <laughs> 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 
Huskies or Wash Dogs will be coming up to bat. Number 14, Harley Koth will be the batter. First pitch, a little low, ball one, one and oh. Foul back, one and one. I know, I know. I know, yeah, it's it is a it's a good seat out here, really. Foul straight back, one and two. Some diamonds, they, a lot of people park the back their pickups up and sit in the back end of the pickups or on the tailgate or. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Ooh, just high. Nice pitch. Two and two to Koth. Swing and a miss. Foul tip, strike three. That'll one down. Going to bring up number 22, Lily Seibert. First pitch, grounder to first. Nice stop by Getzinger. For the out, two up, two down so far for the Huskies. And number 25 comes to the plate, Kaylee Iverson for the Watchdogs. Pop up, and Nierman's looking for it. Oh, nice catch by Nierman there right in front of the fence. Nice job by Hannah Nierman for out number three. So that was a quick one, two, three inning for the Huskies. So after three full innings, it's going to be Beersford four, Huskies three. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball and Forward Digital Solutions. Enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail? Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials in South Dakota because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Did tell me about, I forgot all about that. All right. And yeah. Okay. Hey, that's good. That's awesome. Good to hear. Get here. All right. So first batter up for the Huskies is Ainsley Getzinger. First pitch swing pop up to the second baseman for the out. One pitch, one out for the Watchdogs. Yeah. Yep. So brings up. Number one, Natalie Haley. First pitch strike, 0 and 1. Second pitch popped up. Shortstop backing up, makes the catch for the second out. Second quick out now. It's going to bring up number six, Hannah Nierman, to the plate with two down, base is empty. First pitch of the ball, 1-0. Ball 
ball two in the dirt. Two and oh. Ball three. Three and over. He didn't did he? It's three and oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, it kinda did. So three and oh in here, man. That one's a strike, three and one. Files it back, makes the count full. Nearman swings it a low one, but she's going to ground it too short. She gets the throw over to first, and she beats it out. Good hustle by Nearman there. Beats out the throw from short. It's going to bring up number five, Molly Gary, for the Huskies. So two down, runner at first, Gary at the plate. A what? What's that? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> first pitch strike, strike to Gary, 0-1. That's right, first grade teacher. <laughs> Grounder to shortstop. Gary hustles it, hustles and beats it out too. So another infield hit for the Huskies. It's going to bring up number 15, Sarah Schmidt, with two out. That's right. Caroline says swing for the fences like yesterday. Two on, two out. First pitch is a ball. One and all. High two and all. That one in the dirt, nice stop by the catcher, 3 0. So 3 0 the count with two outs. Runners at first and second. Schmidt's at the plate. That one's a strike, 3 and 1 the count. And that one's low ball four. It's going to lower the bases for Paige Jacobs. Two outs. Base is full. First pitch is outside. Ball one. Second pitch is outside, 2 and 0 count to Jacobs. Line drive up the middle by Jacobs. Jacobs gets a single out of it and two runs in. Huskies move in front 5 to 4 on the two out. Two runs single by Paige Jacobs. Nice hit. It's going to bring up number four, McKinley Hammett. Yep, first and third, two outs. 
And <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> yep. Yep. Their fist is blowing on me in basketball. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's right. <laughs> oh, what are we doing here? I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, it's true. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I don't think he made the trip today, though. Too early for him, too. Oh, did he? Yeah, I found that he drove to, oh, well, he drove Monday night to Alcester, too, I guess. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Uh, Jeff told me that. Yeah. Well, that's true. Strike, and Jacob's going to move up to second, so second, third with two outs. 0 and 1 the count to Hammett. That one's high, one and one. Swing and a miss by Hammett. That's going to make it one and two. Gonna be a little bit low, <laughs> even up the count at two and two with two outs. Second and third. Ooh, must have been just outside. That was pretty close. Three and two, full count here now. Swing and a miss there by Hammett. And that's going to be out number three. So Huskies leave runners at second and third. But they do take the lead on the double by Jacob. So it's a 5-4 Huskies right now after three and a half. We're going to – we'll be back after these messages. You're watching Husky Softball on Florida Digital Solutions. Get your wellness on track with the Elk Point Athletic Club. With affordable rates and convenient 24-7 access, the Elk Point Athletic Club makes it easier than ever to ditch those stubborn extra pounds and get back on the path to better health. With free weights, machines, ellipticals, treadmills, stationary bikes, and more, you'll find what you're looking for at the Elk Point Athletic Club. Text or email Eric today. Hey, good times. Yep, good times, good times. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. yeah, there might be, might not be the correct thing to be having planned, possibly. <laughs> So let's see here. Who do we got up? Is it number one? I think they said. Tavin Valder. Tavin. Can't remember how they pronounced her first name. I apologize. Valder at the plate. She's gonna ground, hit the ground, a grounder to Jacob the second, and we're gonna she's gonna throw it wide to first. Nice job, I guess, here to get it back in. She ended up staying at first base there. So run up first, nobody down. Bring up number 20, Reese Olsen, to the plate. <laughs> Reese Olsen says she plays outfield. I bet she does. Oh, tries to bunt. Nice bunt. And she's going to stay, be in there. And the move, runner moves up to third on the on the bunt. Nice, nice play. Nice bunt there by Reese Olson. 
runner on first was took off right away and went to third on the butt. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Going to bring up, what do you say, number 13? Nice stop. Nice stop by Nearman. Runner's going to advance to second, so it's going to be second and third. Nobody out with Kennedy Merrigan up to bat, number 13. Yep, one and over the count. Nice pitch there, foul ball down the first baseline. One and one the count now. Oh boy, I don't know. I'd have to think about that one for a little bit. How about you? Cheap seats. There, hey, there you go. That's a good song. Oh, gets down in right field. Haley gets it in. It's gonna ooh, gets in with a stand up triple on that one. Nice hit. Hey, speaking of Alabama, song of the South. All right, it's gonna bring up number twenty four, Ivy Kaiser for Beersford. And that makes the score, what was it now? 6-5 uh, in favor of Beers. We have a pop-up to left field, and it's going to drop in there. It's going to bring another run home. 7-5. Oh, the wind's picking up all of a sudden. Here we go. <laughs> what the heck? We're going to have a pinch runner for Kaiser. It's going to be number 15. Kate Deegan, and up to bat is number 21, Haley Livingston. She's going to hit a grounder, just foul down the first baseline. Yep, runner on first is all. And a grounder to short. Hammett stops and picks it up. Throws her out at first base for the first out. Runner moves up to second, right? It's the first out, correct? Yep, so a one out. All right. It's going to bring up number 16, Keeley Merrigan. <laughs> oh, man, we got the fresh Prince of Bel Air over here. Nice. <laughs> foul, foul ball down the first baseline. Out of play. 0-1 the count. <laughs> oh, funny. It has so far. Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, swing and a miss, 0-2. Oh no? no? It was pretty fun when you were on there. Yeah. What? Well, I can still talk to you. Well, that's true. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, crap. All right, thank you. And that's a ball, so it's 2-2. Two two. Man, the wind's picking up. 1-2? and two? Okay. Wind's picking up a little bit again. It was like dead still for a little bit there. <laughs> Pop up to left field. Center field. Oh, and it bounces out of Sarah's glove. So she'll reach second base. That's going to be second and third with one out, correct, still? All right, it's going to bring up number 14, Harley Coath. One now, and runners at second and third. Oh, really? Wow, Penny Wars update, $1,397.14 raised. That's pretty good. And that goes to what again? Oh, yeah, yep. Okay. Okay, yep. 
all the different art supplies then for all elementary grades. Okay, nice. Okay. Like kindergarten, one. kindergarten, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> wow. Okay. Two, two and two, the count. All right. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Strike three, looking. That's gonna be out number two. It's gonna. Going to bring up number 22, Lily Seibert. Two outs, runners at second and third. Oof. Didn't even phase the first base coach. Did you see that? A little sharp, sharp hit down the first base line. Didn't even phase her. She just stood there like, like nothing. Like, is this going to go right through her? It looks like. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So foul ball strike one, 0 and 1. That one a little bit high, 1 and 1. <laughs> uh, oh, nice hit to center, right center field. But one bounce to the wall. Haley picks it up, throws it into the cutoff person. And that's going to bring in two more. It's going to bring the score up to nine to five. Watch dogs on top. It's going to bring up number 25, Kaylee Iverson, runner at second, two down. First pitch is high, ball one. Oh man, that is a rocket to right center field and that or left center field and that's gone. Number twenty five, Kaylee Iverson hits a two run blast. Eleven to five watchdogs on top. Yeah, that was a that was a good hit. That that looked gone as soon as it hit left the bat, didn't it? Wow. Yeah. So 11 to 5 watchdogs on top right now with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Coach Stouffer out on the mound to give McDermott a little bit of pep talk there after the home run. I think believe he said what number? Is it one? Oh. Gee, you, you sound like my dad now. I got, can only, I, I got what? Gee. Can only wear sunglasses or my glasses, one or the other. Uh, I believe it's, I think it's number one, Val, Valder. So first pitch is in the dirt, one and oh. Second pitch is a grounder to second to Jacob. She'll toss it under hand to Getzinger for the third out. And it'll be 11 to 5 after four full innings of play. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. What? Oh, yeah? Yeah, they look... Yeah, it does. We've watched some of that, some of the videos and stuff on them. That'd be pretty interesting to go to. Have you heard the story about all that about them? Because there's a guy was he, I can't remember if he played or he co did he coach college baseball or something. I can't remember, but something about he was sitting in the dugout during a game and he said how boring it was because the games last forever. 
and that's why they put like what is it a two hour time limit on it on those games or something like that there there's a time limit on them and stuff and he goes, if I'm bored, these pe- other people out here watching in the stands have got to be bored, too. Yeah, there's like a whole big show about it. It's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep. Definitely. So first pitch to Samantha Marks is fouled off for a strike on one. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny stuff that they do. Foul off again, 0 and 2. Outside, 1 and 2. Foul back still, one and two. Looks like maybe a little change up on that one, maybe. Looked a little slower, the pitch. Oh. <laughs> that's right. You can, that's right. You can only wear the one glasses, too. So. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> two and two, the count. <laughs> oh, funny. Swing and foul back over the first base dugout. Two and two still. Two marks. And another foul ball into the into the backstop. Two and two. I wonder if there's anybody else left in the dugout that's not playing because Lenny Trollmeter has sure been back and forth here a lot on foul balls, hasn't she? She's going to be worn out before she even gets to play. And evidently, I mean, she's been on here back and forth numerous times. Just nonstop. It's like there's nobody left. Oh, there she goes. Oh, man, i got to go back again. <laughs> nope, no limit. Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. She might as well just sit on this bench back here behind the fence and just wait for them because they're just nonstop going back here. <laughs> yeah, then they'll never go. Oh, yeah, you say that, it goes again. <laughs> Still two and two the count. Another foul ball. <laughs> they're run out of balls here pretty soon. <laughs> uh That one's low in the dirt. Three and two, I believe, full count. And it's going to be low two, ball four. Yep, so Marks fights off a lot of pitches, a lot of foul balls there, and draws the walk to lead off the inning. It's going to bring up number three, Reagan Rasmussen. Rasmussen hands the umpire about six foul balls, I believe, to put in his little pockets there. Uh, usually she's swinging under the ball, so it's popping them back up, usually if they're popped up backwards like that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, gee. First pitch is a ball. Ooh. Yep. Smith Marks in there with the stolen base. Ball gets away from the shortstop into center field. So Marks in there with a stolen base. So runner at second. Nobody out. And Rasmussen at the plate. And there's a strike there. Oh, I know. One and one. That one did look a little bit higher compared to what he's been calling him. Yeah. Definitely. And swing and a miss. One and two. The count to Rasmussen. Yep, 
Strike three, swing into Rasmussen. That's going to be one down. It's going to bring up number 23, Ainsley Getzinger. What was that now? Then Logan? Yep, Logan's only in sixth grade. Reagan is a sophomore, yep. Same age as Kenley. Reagan's sister, Kenley, they're the same age. Yep. 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 Well, yep, yep, exactly. So first pitch was a swinging strike, I believe, right? 0-1-1. 1-0, was it? Oh, she gets a hold of one there out to right center field. Then it's going to drop between them. Oh, Ainsley, yep. Ainsley stands up at second with a stand-up double. It drives in Marks. Nice job by Getzinger. A lot of Alabama songs they're playing now. Boy, Jeff would be in heaven here if he was here. He's a big Alabama fan as well. Oh, there you go. Another good one. Definitely. Where's that at? Okay. Nice. Nice. Another fly ball left center field. She gets under it, puts it away. That's going to be out number two. That was that was Natalie Haley with the fly out to center field. So getting her at second with two outs, and it's going to bring up Hannah Nearman. Man, they're really playing the Alabama music now. Every batter almost. <laughs> First pitch is a ball to Nearman, 1 0. Oh. A little outside or low, maybe. 2 0. Oh. Strike two and one to Nerman. Swing and a miss. Two and two now to Nerman. Nearman drives one to left field. Oh, and she, I thought she caught it right at her knee about. I thought it she did, but it got by her. Center fielder gets over there, throws it in. Nearman gets in there to stand up double and drives in one. So it makes it 11-7. Yeah, with two down. It's going to bring up number five, Molly Gary. First pitch is a strike to Gary, 0-1. Ball and dirt, nice stop by the catcher there, 1-1. One one. Popped up, second by second base. She's going to come in. And, oh, and she drops it. And that's going to bring in Nearman, make it 11-8. So Gary reaches first on the drop pop fly. It's going to bring up number 15, Sarah Schmitz. Right, two down, right? Yeah. Let's see what Sarah can do here. Sarah drives a grounder through between third and short, and she's going to reach with the single. Gary will move up to second. So first and second, two down. Paige Jacobs comes to the plate again. Paige 
First one's ball high, 1-0. One oh. <laughs> Second pitch, nice line drive up the middle by Jacobs. It's going to go between, well, center fielder ends up cut, cutting off in the hole. And it's going to drive in two runs, and Jacobs will move up to second on the throw to home. This one run. Wasn't it? Yeah, it was two runs, right? Yeah, because they're at first and second, so it's 11 to 10, right? 11 to 10, Washtenaw still on top with the two-run single by Jacobs. She moved up to second on the throw home. So two outs, nice rally here by the Huskies with two outs. Got a little meeting with the Washtenaw in the infield. Yep, runner on second, two outs, and it's going to bring up McKinley Hammett. I think so, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I won't batting all the way around, definitely. First one's in the dirt for a ball. Nice stop by the catcher. That's right. Too early of a start. Nobody, not everybody could get here in time. Oh, Hammett tries to lay down a butt. It's going to go foul. So one and one the count. I agree. Where are they at? Yeah, the 4 o'clock start time. I bet if it would have been 5 o'clock on Friday, there would have been a few more people here maybe. There has been a few more trickling in slowly here and there, but not quite as big a crowd as last night. Oh, Hammett tries to butt. Yeah, I haven't really seen any students here yet. Have you, any of the games of you? No, I don't think so either. Yeah, calling them out. Where are they at? Yep, support your teammates. That's right. Swing and a miss by Hammett. She's going to go down swinging, and that's going to be the out number three. So after... After four and a half, it's going to be 11 to 10. Beersford on top. We'll be back after these messages. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Quality care close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. All right, we're back. Friday, I'm squirrely. Oh, boy. That's right. Caroline is calling out the students. Come out and support your fellow classmates and teammates in other sports and come watch these girls play. Alright. So to lead off the inning, bottom of the fifth, is number twenty Reese Olson for the Washdogs. First pitch strike there by McDermott. Nice pitch, strike two. Oh, I was just informed there was a good amount of high school boys at the game last night. Listen, I don't have my glasses. Oh. Caroline doesn't have her glasses on. She's not sure. She couldn't see from out in out in the outfield out there. <laughs> That's right. She says also there is a baseball game in town tonight already. Ah, that could be why. That's right. There's a pass. <laughs> Kristen is. <laughs> um, 
Maybe Monday night. Monday is the home game in town. Yeah. West Central, I believe. So there's a ball, so it's one and two. Two and two. Okay. Three and two. Wow. Fell behind there on that one. Yeah. Oh, boy. Please don't hit us over here. <laughs> JV girls over here warming up a little bit. And that one's in the dirt. Ball four. She'll take a walk. It's going to bring up number number 13, Kennedy Merrigan. So nobody out. Running around first for the Watch Dogs. Oh, line drive just gets through second base. She's going to go all the way to third from first to third. And Ken Merrigan gets on with the single. So it's runners at the corners, nobody out. It's going to bring up number 24, Ivy Kaiser, for the Watchdogs. Fly ball, left field. And it drops in there. It's going to score one run, right? So one run, move up from to first and second. It's going to make it 12-10, Wash Dogs. Up to the plate, number 21, Haley Livingston. So nobody out, runners at first and second. Fouled back. 0-1. And she'll try to lay down a butt, scores around. So it's going to be a strike she offered at the pitch. So 0-2, all right. So 0-2. To Livingston, and it's going to be fouled back. Count remain 0-2. And oh, nice snag there by McDermott. She gets it, throws it over to first. Gets here, throws it over to third. Try and get get the runner, and she's not in time. So. Nice job by McDermott to get that out at first. So we got one down, runners at second and third. It's going to bring up number, what number did he say? Let me just do it. Sixteen, I believe. Keely Merrigan, maybe. So first pitch is a ball, one and oh. Grounder to second. Jacobs with it. Over to first. Gets the out. Two outs. That's going to score a run. It's going to make it 13-10. Moves up the other runner to third. So two outs. Runner on a third. It's going to bring up. I'm not sure what number it is. Turn a little more so I can see your number. I didn't see it. I didn't catch it. 14. Oh, yeah, it's Harley Kill. Sorry. So, two outs. And that one's in there for a ball. Strike there to Kill. That's a ball high by McDermott. Swings and fouls it back. And count what we have for a count now. Two and two. Thank you, Caroline. 
All right, so two and two, two outs, runner at third. Fly ball, center field, and Schmitz is going to put it away for the third out. So after five innings, yep, yep, throw 13 to 10. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low-stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small-town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. I don't think you got time yet. The catcher's not out there. All right, another commercial. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Well, it looks like we had a new pitcher for the watchdogs, I believe. Let's see what number she is here. Number 16, Keely Merrigan, number 16, is the new pitcher for the Watchdogs to start the sixth inning. It's going to bring up number 14, Samantha Marks, for the Huskies. So 13 to 10 in favor of the Watchdogs going into the sixth inning. Off the end of the bat, little line drive to the first baseman. She's going to put it away for the out. It'll be one pitch and one out. Going to bring up number three, Reagan Rasmussen, to the plate. Alrighty, so Rasmus will come to the plate. First pitch in the dirt, one and zero. Second pitch is a ball, two and zero. In the dirt, 3 and 0 to Rasmussen. Oh. There's a, It's going to be a strike. Umpire's getting after the uh, music guy over there, I think. I don't know if the something happened or it's almost coming on something like staticky on the <laughs> on the speakers and he, I don't think he liked it too much. <laughs> he walked over to the tent, yeah. That's right, shut it down. He was there he's maybe I don't know. <laughs> maybe he's trying to be the DJs. <laughs> it's ball four in the dirt. So ball four to Rasmussen. That's right. <laughs> Yep, nice job by Rasmussen. So one out, run around first. It's going to bring up Ainsley Getzinger.
First pitch is a ball to Getzinger. 1-0. and Guys, Leonard pops it up, back behind home plate. Oh, just cleared the fence behind home plate. So one and one and one now. Nice pitch there, one and two. Grounder to short. She's going to toss it to second. And throw is overthrown to first. So get the force at second. Rasmussen's out on the fielder's choice. So gets her to be safe at first. So she's at first with two down. And who we have? That Haley, Haley, Haley up to bat, right? And uh, that's why she's been going after all these foul balls, staying warm. Yeah, so, so Laney Trometer into the game, two run for Getzinger. That's why she's been going after all the foul balls the whole game. So she'll be at first base to run. Natalie Haley at the plate. With one down. Ball one, one and oh. Oh, yeah, there's two outs, isn't there? That's right. Oh, yeah, they got that force out of the down. That's right. Yep. That was a ball outside. And Laney's going to be. Slid in at the second, safe, and the ball goes into the center field. She's going to stand up at third base. So two outs, Laney at third, and Natalie Haley at the plate, and the count is what, Caroline? 1-0. Oh. All right. So 1-0 oh with two outs. Swings, nice line drive. Down the third base line, I believe. She's going to get into second base. Nice hit by Natalie Haley, and she's going to drive in Trometer. Going to make it 13-11. Two outs, and it's going to bring up top of the order, Hannah Nearman. First pitch is a ball to Nearman. Ball two, two and oh, to Nearman. That's going to be a strike, two and one. Nearman's going to hit a fly ball. Center field. Center fielder comes in and makes the catch for the third out. So after five and a half, it is 13 11 in favor of the Watchdogs. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Softball and Florida Digital Solutions. Every day, life throws us challenges our way. It might be sitting at a desk too long or picking up the kids or simply everyday wear and tear. 
Over time, these moments can misalign our bodies. The doctors at Heartland Chiropractic Associates understand this delicate balance. Their team of experienced chiropractors doesn't just address symptoms, but seeks and finds the root cause. Call and book an appointment today and discover why Heartland Chiropractic Associates has been voted two times the best chiropractic clinic in Siouxland. So it's so we're going to the bottom of the sixth, and first up for the Watchdogs is going to be number twenty-two, Lois Ivert. First pitch to strike, nice pitch, 0-1. Ooh, a little low, 1-1 one one on the count, two Cyber. Grounder, oh, nice stop by Jacobs. Tosses it over and it's off the glove, so she's gonna be safe at first. So, first person to reach is Cybert. Gonna bring up. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's right. Number 25, Kaylee Iverson up to bat, and it is 1 and 0. 1 and 0 oh and 2. Oh. I didn't either. Jeez, that was quick. <laughs> so 1 and 2. And we got a foul ball back. It's going to be back and out of play. Still one and two to Iverson. It's going to be a ball high, two and two. Ball low, full count now. It's a grounder to third. Gary over to Jacobs. Oh, that was close. So, yep, out of second on the fielder's choice. Gary to Jacobs. Jacobs over to. Oh, uh, that was interesting. Something you don't see every day in high school softball. So that's one out, and <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. It looked like she was close to being out, and I don't know if she thought she was out. She started walking off. She started walking off the base. So then Laura noticed it, threw it back over, but not quite in time, but. Not sure. Yeah, they put a pitcher on there in. Number seven, Anna Leitendra. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Just got a text that said it sure looked like she was out. 
That's kind of what I thought from here. Yeah, I think that's what Coach Tover's out there talking to the all umpire about. Sure looked like she was out to me. I didn't, I don't know. I mean, obviously she must have thought she was out too because she started walking back to the dugout. So, not sure what happened there. That's quite the interesting call. Interesting. So that's only one out then, runner on first. Oh, we're going to have a discussion with the umpires here. I don't know if it'll happen. Uh, it'd be kind of neat. Yeah, it would be neat, but... Yeah, yeah, it'll be... I was not sure what he was looking at because it sure looked like she was out. I don't know. Go to the replay booth. Put the re the Yeah, hit the replay button there, Caroline. <laughs> oh. oh boy, I think the uh, guy playing the music already is on the bad side of the home plate ump anyway. Now they're playing the old Jeopardy theme song. <laughs> I know, and now they, now they even gave him the call. It's like, how, how, did, how do you, why are you trying to be on their bad side even more? I don't know. Yeah, no kidding. If they quit playing the music, I think I could actually hear what the umpire is saying to her, but... I am not sure. Home plate umpire back out there to listen in on the old conversation. And she's jogging off the field and nothing got resolved, so. So one out runner at first, and it's going to bring up, I believe, what is it, Tavon Valder. Puts down a bunt, and it's going to be fouled on the third baseline. So 0-1 the count to Valder. Yep, swing, scoring around a bunt. Pulls it back, and she hits away. Re base hit right up the middle. Sarah Schmitz knocks it down. She's going to throw to third. Oh, my. Oh, she dropped the ball. She had her nailed. She was. She would have been out. That was a heck of a throw by Schmitz. That was a great throw. So, one out yet. Runners at second and third. Number 20, Reese Olsen up to bat for the Wash Dogs now. First pitch strike by McDermott, 0 1. Ball high, one and one. Nice pitch, one and two. So one and two the count to Olsen with runners at second and third. Ooh, nice pitch. Looks like he took a little off there. Might have been a little change up. Um, two and two count. Nice pitch. Let 
Ball high, three and two. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I think they are at home yet. So, she was, I think she said there was a game in town. <laughs> and it's going to be a grounder, gets through. And it's going to bring home two runs. Olsen's going to get over to second base on the throw into home. So, Two runs single there for Olsen. Gets up to second base on the throw to home. Makes it 15-11. It's going to bring up number 15. Grounder to Hammett at short. She's going to have a low throw over to first. That's number 13. Kennedy Merrigan that hit that. It's going to score another run, 16-11. So we're still with one down, 15 11. It's going to bring up number 24, Ivy Kaiser. First pitch, foul back, 0 and 1. Pitch in the dirt. She's going to try for two. She gets in there standing up on the stolen base by Kennedy Merrigan. So still one out. One and one the count. It's ball high, two and one. Fielder's choice. Okay. So... So, like, if there's a runner on, oh, ball in the dirt, three and one. So, if there's a runner on, like, first, say, and they hit a grounder to shortstop, they throw it to second, and they get the lead runner, and then the girl gets on base, they hit that, she gets on first. It's called a fielder's choice because they got the other girl out instead of trying to get her out. So, that's what, how it's, that's why it's called a fielder's choice. So, yep, so. And that was a, was that a swinging? Swing and miss, full count. Full count with one down. Runner at second. And it gets between third and shortstop. Left field. Marks gets the ball in. And that's going to get that run in. It's going to be 16 11. Seventh. Is it 17? Oh, man. I thought it was only 16. All right. So it's going to bring up number 21. Hallie Livingston. I apologize. I think I've been calling her Haley the whole time. It's Hallie Livingston. My bad. So, one out runner at first. Livingston at the plate. First pitch, the ball high. And steals second base. Kaiser steals second base. Throw is down. Nobody was there to cover the base. Schmitz gets it in quick from center field, so she can't advance to third. So one out. Runner at second. Swing and a miss. So Deegan's at second base. One and one with one out. Fly ball. Right field. Haley back makes the catch. Gets it into the cutoff. Nice play there by Haley. So two down, runner at second. It's going to bring up number 15. I don't know, 16, Keeley Merrigan. First pitch is fouled straight back, 0-1. Yeah, it was. That was, that was a hard swing. Definitely. That one in the dirt, nice stop by Nierman there, 0-1-1. One one.
Nice pitch there by Lauren, one and two. <laughs> yeah, that was a good pitch. And she swings and hits it to center field, right to Schmitz. Schmitz rifles it into home, even though that was the third out. Got it to one bounce to home plate. Nice throw, but that was three outs, so after six innings of play, it's 17-11, Beersford on top. We'll take a break. You're watching Hussey Scoffball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance, your local, independent auto owners insurance agency. Top of seven. Top of seven. 17, 11. Last chance here for the Huskies. First pitch is a ball. First pitch is a ball is Molly Gary leading off for the Huskies. Fly ball just out to shortstop, and that's going to be an out. Pop fly out to the shortstop for out number one for Gary. It's going to bring up number 15, Sarah Schmidt. That's ball one high. One and all to Schmidt. That one in the dirt. Ball two. Two and oh. Two and zero to Schmitz, and that one's foul. Foul back. Two and one. And that one's outside. Three and one. Yeah, it's supposed to be like 83 or so on, so was it tomorrow and Sunday, I think. Crazy. Yeah, it's supposed to be cooler again. Ooh, full count. Nice change up there. Nice change up by Merrigan. Yeah, it's supposed to go back down. Is it like low 60s or 50-something? 50, 50 yeah, crazy. Crazy weather. No, that's for sure. Oh, Gets her looking on that one. Strike three. It's going to be two down and bring Paige Jacobs to the plate. Oh, man. Jacobs gets a hold of that one. That one is gone. Nice hit by Jacobs there. Solo home run. It's going to bring the score to 17-12. to 12. Nice hit by Paige Jacobs. That was a no-doubter. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was I was saying we should have probably drove out there and parked out there, but good thing we didn't. Uh, I don't know how you get. I guess you got to go around right around over there, but <laughs> funny. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're gonna have a pinch hitter, I believe. I have a pinch hitter, Callie Getzinger, number 13 for the Huskies. And that one was a ball one. Low ball two. Just got a text from Chris and she said, Paige Jacobs has five RBIs on the day. Wow. Nice job by Paige. Ooh, strike one there. Two and one, the count to get here. That one's low, three and one. A strike two, full count now, three two to get here. Yep, that's right. Two outs, three and two, two outs. Oh, strikes out looking to end the game. That'll do it. 17 12 in favor of the Watchdogs. The Huskies will fall to. Two and four on the season. Bearsford will improve to four and two on the season. Next game for the Huskies will be Monday at five o'clock, I believe. Right? You think? I think. Fi yeah. We'll hold on here just one second. I believe it's five o'clock. You did find it. I was just gonna say that. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're checking. Caroline's checking it out here. I think I think it's five, but better make sure. What? Really? Oh, oh, getting a month ahead of ourselves there. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, really? Okay, so West Central at home, 5 o'clock on Monday. So that'll be the next broadcast. Yeah, the next one after that won't be till the 27th of April, yeah. Because I think they will have the, what, the Act 12 tournament in there, conference tournament, I think. Yeah, it's on a Monday the 22nd. That's interesting, but. It's in Sioux Falls at the big Sanford softball complex. That'd be a cool place to go watch, but probably not on a Monday the 22nd all day. It is? Oh, man. So, yeah, it's a little interesting why why it's that day. But anyway, so well, once again, our last next broadcast will be on Monday at 5 o'clock at home. So if you can't make it out, tune in. Try and make it out there, though. It's a good time. Hopefully it'll be nice like it is today again. I think there's a little chance of a shower, but hopefully not. This is true. We got that figured out. That's right. That's right. Setting up from inside Caroline's car in the outfield. So. I think so. It's a tax deduction. <laughs> Better buy a new car. <laughs> All right, we better get going. But that was that was a pretty good one there. So, for our producer Caroline Raymond, who came up with a good one there, I'm Kendall Hanson. Thanks for joining in, and hopefully I'll see you on Monday. Have a good one.